Financial inclusion is an important issue for me um, for a number of reasons. Um, firstly, it's a way to bridge the gap between the financially included who have access to a lot of services that enable them to continue to drive economic growth and um, between that group and the group that are presumably underprivileged in the society. Um, the second reason is actually a way to spear and to move economic growth one notch further by including the masses that don't have access to certain facilities. Um, personally, I've actually looked into financial inclusion in emerging markets in a variety of ways, launched different programs, and at MTN specifically, we've looked at how we can enable financial inclusion, not only through our formal mobile money program, but also looking at initiatives that selectively target segments of the population like women, for example, that have been financially excluded for, for a variety of years. To close the gap in the gender gap in mobile money and, and how MTN is, is actually addressing that. So, so first of all, to close the gap, we've looked at the data and try to understand the reasons behind the gender gap in the first place. And there are a number of things. The first one is we found that women in Ghana specifically are a lot slower in technology adoption. And a part of that is driven by trust, a part of that is driven by literacy, a part of that is driven by numerology. Um, so we've launched a number of programs to try to bridge the gap on the trust side by engaging other women who can participate on the agent side, on the merchant side, through the Connected Women Partnership, for example, in MomoPay. Um, it's one of the initiatives that we're using to drive this. And we feel the more women get involved on the service delivery side, the easier it is to bring women into the fray on transacting on mobile money. But the second one is beyond the trust. There are a number of other reasons where because women are also financially excluded in several, in several other segments, the rationale to be on more money is not as high, and therefore giving women a bigger reason to participate is the second thing that we've been working on. So there are a number of very specific projects. For example, we've done partnerships with fishmongers, who are largely women. We've looked at traders, who are largely women, and we've tried to educate them specifically around the need for mobile money and the impact it could have on their specific business and how it can help them continue to grow. So with these sort of inter in interventions, we've seen a much higher responsiveness from women to participate in, in mobile money. Um, so for us, it's exciting. I think there's a lot more to do. This is only the beginning. And with partnerships with other institutions, such as the GSMA and other financial institutions that are looking to drive this, we believe we can actually drive significant growth in participation by women. Investing has benefited us in a number of ways in you know, at MTN Ghana. And the first one is, it's actually allowed us to extend the number of services we have with our customers. And what this means from a business perspective is, the more products you have and the more services you have per customer, the more loyal and the higher the stickiness the customer is to your business. And that's a good thing. That's a great thing because we can build a much stronger and deeper relationship with our customers. And we, can all, and we can understand them beyond their basic needs. Now the second thing is we're actually solving a problem in the society. A lot of people have had the disadvantage of not being financially included. Today we have products that allow people to take loans, for example, that allow them to accelerate growth in their businesses. And without these inclusiveness, these customers of ours wouldn't have that opportunity. And the impact of some of these services have been phenomenal. I mean, we've spoken to people, they've talked about how it's changed their lives. And one of the projects we've launched recently, which is a very specific project to actually attract women onto our merchant payment services called the MumuPay Merchants in partnership with, with Connected Women. So what that has done is it has allowed us to educate women specifically on how they can become merchants, which gives them an additional line of revenue. And for our business as well, it extends our revenue streams for our business. But secondly, it actually helps women bring in other women to in increase the participation. So there are two or three other reasons why this is important. What we've observed from the data is actually very interesting. What we've observed is when women come in through these mechanisms and initiatives that we've put in place, we've seen a significant growth in their spend in our business. For example, on average, after 12 months, we see a 21% increase in monthly spend by the average customer. 
But for the female and the woman segment, we've seen a 30% increase in the average spend. But the actual value transacted for the average customer was about 38% after 12 months. But for female and for women, it was 55% after 12 months. And I mean, these outcomes are extremely encouraging. And not only does it have a social benefit, not only does it bring people into financial inclusion, it also has a direct implication on our business and the future of our business.